This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at electrolytic cells. Electrolytic cells are used to split ionic compounds into their constituent elements. An electrolytic cell uses a single container in which an ionic compound is heated until it melts. Once molten, the constituent ions are free to move around in the electrolyte. An electric current is supplied from a battery and the oppositely charged ions are attracted to the anode or cathode. On the left we have a diagram of an electrolytic cell. The anode is the positive electrode and the cathode is the negative electrode. The current is supplied by a battery. The ionic compound is heated until it becomes molten and then it's known as the electrolyte. The ions are attracted to the anode or the cathode where they undergo oxidation or reduction. Next, we look at the electrolysis of molten sodium chloride. In this equation, we have solid sodium chloride, which is melted to form positive sodium ions and negative chloride ions. On the left, we can see a diagram of the electrolytic cell. The electrolyte, which is molten sodium chloride, consists of positive sodium ions and negative chloride ions. The negative chloride ions are attracted to the positively charged anode. And the positive sodium ions are attracted to the negatively charged cathode. Here we have the half equation for the reaction that takes place at the anode. At the anode, chloride ions lose electrons, which is oxidation, to form chlorine gas. At the cathode, sodium ions gain electrons, which is reduction, to form liquid sodium. So at the anode, we get chlorine gas produced, and at the cathode, we get liquid sodium produced. The number of electrons in each half equation must be the same, therefore we multiply everything in this half equation by 2. This gives us the overall equation for the reaction, and as we can see, the molar ratio of sodium to chlorine is 2 to 1. And finally, we look at how an electric current is conducted in an electrolytic cell. So there are two ways in which the electric current is conducted. The first is the flow of electrons in the wires. As we can see on this diagram, the electrons flow from the positively charged anode to the negatively charged cathode. The second way in which the electric current is conducted is by the movement of ions in the electrolyte. For example, the negative ions move to the positively charged anode and the positive ions move to the negatively charged cathode. 